Hello, welcome back to the channel. We are uh, onto a new project. Uh, we've got uh, gonna do the subway tile here in the guest bathroom. Uh, first thing I've got to do is I've got to put on this. Uh, I'm going to be using this uh, Red Guard. Uh, it's a waterproofing material. We used it on the house when we did our one in our house in Polson, and we're going to do the same here. We're going to uh, paint this area with that uh, with that stuff. Let it cure. We'll do two coats of that. Uh, just to get it on there and make sure we've got uh, plenty of protection on there and then we'll get busy uh, with tiling the subway <clears throat> Subway tiles as you can see we've got it all right here. Uh, we've got our cutter We've got our soap dish and we've got all of our tile that we need for this project So let's get busy with uh, with the red guard What I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll this stuff on with a roller. We'll tell, we'll see if, if that works out. It should. But this stuff's pretty, uh, pretty liquidy. All right, well, we got our first coat on. It'll go also on pink, and then when it dries, it's red. <clears throat> so we're gonna do a couple of different coats of this stuff. And uh, once we're done, we'll get ready with uh, to start tiling this. And uh, we'll go into more detail on how we're gonna tile this, but uh, we'll get the red guard a chance to dry, and then we'll uh, get started. All right, now that we've got our uh, waterproofing in and it's dried, as you can see, it goes on pink and turns red. Uh, that is how uh, been waterproofed. I've got two coats on there, and so we are good to go with that. First thing I need to do is we're going to start on this back wall here and then do the side walls uh, But I have to find a dead center of that and then uh, that way we'll know exactly We're going to start in the center and work our way out and up uh, So we'll get our centers marked our center marked and then we'll go from there I know uh, it was 60 inches, but with the you got half inch of sheetrock, so it should be 59 And we're at 59 on the money, so I need 29 and a half for the center. So, <clears throat> let's see. All right, so we got our center. We'll get our level out and mark that, and then we'll uh, be in a good position to start. Start. We got to mix our mortar and and uh, our grout and get that done but uh, we're getting ready to get started here with some tile. <clears throat> Probably didn't need to go that high but I went ahead and just marked it so I know exactly where that's at. Uh, <clears throat> it's going to be for six inch tiles so it's going to be about 9.8 tiles total across the bottom or across to make the gap so we're going to have to figure out what our end cuts are but we'll start with the center we're going to do a stacked pattern. We'll just start with uh, one in the center and then do two and then one and then two. And then we'll just keep alternating our patterns so that we get our the subway tile look that we're looking for. We're going to be using the uh, Versabond uh, professional thin set mortar to uh, put our tiles on. And uh, we're going to mix this stuff up and then I'm going to mix it in small groups. So rather than have a full giant bucket, uh, when we mix it, we're going to have to uh, mix it to the consistency that we want. Let's said recommended for five minutes and then let it stand for five minutes and then uh, then mix it again so we'll get that stuff ready and then we'll get ready to tile
All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to trowel it on with the smooth edge and then we'll uh, create the grooves in it for the tile. And then to space it, we're using these <coughs> quarter inch uh, spacers. Uh, we'll start with the bottom and then we'll get our first row in and then we'll uh, continue to work our way up. But we'll get this started and see what, uh, see what gives. I've done this one time before. I'm a little rusty. It's been a few years, so we'll see how this, uh, how this works out for us. And now we're just going to continue on from there. We've got it set dead center. And now we'll uh, just keep moving down to get our first bottom row established, make sure it's level, and then we'll continue on from there. All right, well, we've got our first row established, and it's uh, level all the way across. And now we'll start staggering our stuff and making our quarter cuts as we go here. All right, well, I managed to get pretty far, but I've hit a point now where I'm going to put in the uh, soap dish that I've got. I need to get this in, and then I'll start on this side and go up to it. But I need to get this in and then use a masking tape to kind of hold it into position while it dries. Uh, and then I'll tile up to it on the opposite side here on the uh, faucet side of, uh, of, of things. But we'll get this installed, and, and then we'll uh, taper up there and see if we can get it to stay. All right, well, we're back at it. It's a new day. We managed to get pretty far yesterday. We got the uh, soap to hold her in. It's doing fine. I started with this patch here this morning. To, I got to work around the uh, tub faucet. Uh, I'm going to have to make some cuts there. And then also around the uh, on-off valve around there. But everything else should be pretty straight. So we're going we're gonna to continue banging this out. And then uh, as I work up, then I'll still continue over this way. Uh, until we get to that wall. That'll be the last wall, although probably one of the easier ones since it's got no cutouts, but we're gonna have to take our time and do some skilled work with the saw around that and see if we can get that going. But we're making progress and I'm pretty pleased. All right, well, I've reached the point now where I gotta figure out, I gotta start cutting around that tile around that uh, vent, or that vent, the uh, on off. All right, well, on this wall, I've managed to get to a point now where I gotta do my measurements for the, uh, water valve. Um, we're going to have to do some tricky cuts with that tile saw uh, to try and round this out and try and make it, it doesn't have to be totally round and clean, but I want to try and do a professional job here around it. So we'll get this measured and cut out and then we'll see about how we're continuing on with this. And then the other tricky spot, we're going to need some custom cutting is around the soap dish. Um, and then the rest is just stranded straight up. So we'll get this measured and cut.
Well, it's certainly not the prettiest cut job I've done, but it works. It's like I said, it's going to be covered up. So, but I would like to have done a little bit more professional job. And off of that uh, saw, it just makes it kind of tough. So, we'll get it up there and be done with it. All right. Now we'll just continue on with our uh, stuff all the way up. All right, I think we're making pretty good progress. I mean, I've got this whole side done, and now we're gonna transition and finish off this right here, and then we'll move to that other side. So we're making good progress on getting this tiled, so we'll just keep on keeping on. Headlights on the highway If you only knew Being back here Always makes me think of you All right, there you go. We've got all of our uh, mortar on and all of our tile in place. Uh, that's good to go. Uh, we, like I said, we started with this this morning and finished off this side. Uh, everything is looking really sharp. Everything lined up perfectly on both sides against the middle. As you can see, the lines uh, transect well. So it tells me I did my measuring and leveling uh, pretty, pretty tight. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, and we've managed to cover up almost every bit of uh, pink uh, backing that we had. Uh, so that tells me we did, uh, we did good with all our measurements. Anyway, we're gonna let this uh, dry overnight. It's got 24 hours to dry, so we got an entire day to let it go. And then we will uh, clean it up and start grouting. I'm pretty excited about that process. And then we'll put the, uh, put the door in. We still gotta get that up and clean the tub out, which hasn't been done since it was installed. All right, so we'll catch you back up in a few seconds. Well, now that our, uh, our mortar is dried behind all the tiles. We need to remove all of the spacers that are here and we need to clean up uh, some of the joints. As you can see, we have some grout that's kind of, or some mortar that's kind of sticking out. We're gonna clean up all those and also the faces where there is uh, stuff on there. So we just have a clean surface. Yeah, and once we get these, all these tabs move out and get this clean, then we'll actually uh, start the grouting process. All right, now we've got all our spacers out. We'll, uh, we'll end up reusing those for when we do the master shower. That's going to be another big giant project. But I got a, a razor blade, and now we just need to go through on uh, each of the tiles and clean off all of the, the stuff that's there, clean up around the edges and any grout and all that, and then we'll wipe it down, and then we'll be ready to, to go with the actual grouting of this thing. So we'll get busy uh, cleaning this off, and then we'll get to grouting. So I was going to mix my own grout for this, but I wanted to make sure the color is consistent. So I used it on our last shower, which is a simply uh, simple grout, and it's neutral, neutral gray is the color that I'm gonna be using. Um, I liked it when I did the shower in our other house, and so I'm gonna use it on this one as well. I think it'll just uh, add some good contrast to uh, the white tiles. So we'll get, uh, we'll get that, gets busy uh, putting this on now. <clears throat> so when I'm applying this stuff, I'm using a dense rubber float. Uh, it's got some cushion in it, but it's, uh, it's tough enough to be able to kind of push the grout into the into the overall uh, cre or all these cracks and crevices and give it give it uh, give it an even bit and I don't what I don't like to do is generally is put it on the whole thing and then smear it all the way across I like to just put it on one end I tend to put it on one end like this and then I will work it into the into each uh, each one of the seams and just keep working it until we get it uh, all the way how we want it
and I'll keep working it like that as we're going here. Uh, I'll just keep working it from the bottom all the way up and then get uh, and then get my corners as we're going and then we'll do our wipe down with it. All right, well, we've let this dry. We'll start wiping it down. It's uh, pretty messy stuff. But. Well, now that we've got it tiled and grouted and it's been drying for a few days, uh, it's now time to put in the uh, glass doors that are gonna go here. And uh, we've got to measure the bottom for the bottom rail, which is uh, we've got to measure what the distance is and then subtract out uh, three eighths of an inch. So we'll get that done and we'll get that cut so we can continue on with putting the doors in. kind of convenient it's 58 and 3 8 so we're just going to cut this thing at 58 and uh, hopefully that will that will work for us so we'll get that done and continue on well now that we have our <coughs> our bottom cut and i've got the silicone on there we're going to get it placed and then we have to measure and mark out our where our wall braces are going to go so we'll get this in and go from there Position these things. There's two. Okay, so we've got that where we want it. And now, just to make sure this thing stays as we're doing it, uh, we'll we'll mask it down just to make sure. measure out and mark our, our uh, side things and then we'll be uh, good to go for drilling them in and getting that done. So now I've just got to drill quarter inch holes where I've got a mark for the holes for this uh, bracket to go in so we'll get that done. Hopefully this masonry bit will work and not crack the tile. We'll see. That did pretty well. I'm pretty pleased with that. So we'll get the rest of these drilled and we'll start hanging. All right, well, we've got our top, uh, we've got the top of our, um, uh, shower frame done, we've got it cut and measured, and then these brackets slide in and get anchored to the uh, uprights in order to keep it from, keep it in position and not uh, move around once we get the door. So we'll get this on and uh, get it uh, sealed in. All right, I'm gonna be trying to be very careful getting the, the glass doors in. All right, well, we've got the glass doors in. Now we gotta put the door hardware on. I gotta put also the lower bracket in that keeps the doors from swinging. So uh, we're gonna work on that a little bit here in a minute. All right, and there you got it. We got our glass doors in, got our handles in. Everything is uh, done with that. The next uh, and last piece we have to do is we're missing the um, valve piece for this. It's the uh, cartridge that goes in. Uh, that should be here today, and then we'll get that installed and hook in all of our faucets and and uh, and the like. And then we should be done with this bathroom shower. It's, but it's coming along pretty good. I went with a glass door. 
Uh, our, uh, the last one I did had some opaque doors. So you don't really get to see the tile unless you're in a shower. And I, I honestly, I feel good about the work that I did and I want to show that off. So I've got that. I've got my dog here hanging out. We're working on uh, getting things completed.